ever wonder what a $30 billion lithium empire looks like? From mining, refining, recycling, our mobile phones, digital cameras, laptops, electric vehicles, and even lithium salts to help treat multiple medical issues such as depression and bipolar disorder. While of course, the most important growth driver for lithium would be lithium batteries, which have had the biggest impact on our society globally, enabling mobile portable electronics and transportation, thus enabling reduced engine emissions and clean low carbon transport and promoting sustainable energy around the world. So it shouldn't come to any surprise that the largest lithium producer in the world, the Albemarle Corporation, is worth $32 billion today according to market cap valuations. See, the Albemarle Corporation is not just the largest producer of lithium around the world, but rather so much more. A specialty chemicals manufacturing company based in the United States, Charlotte, North Carolina. It operates three divisions, lithium, bromine, and catalysts. As of 2020, Albemarle was the largest producer of lithium for electric vehicle batteries. The company is a large developer of flame retardant chemical technologies, with production plants in the United States, China, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, France, Australia, and even the United Kingdom. It also has a line of antioxidants and blends which concentrate on improving storage life and stability of fuel and other lubricant products. It produces products using rigid and flexible polyethylene foam applications and ammonium polyphosphorate products, pigments for paper applications, aluminum oxides used for flame retardants, polishing, catalysts, and niche ceramic appliances, as well as magnesium hydroxide, mainly used as a flame retardant. With 5,000 employees and customers in over 100 different countries globally, besides lithium, Albemarle produces bromine and provides refining solutions and chemistry services for pharmaceutical firms. As mentioned, lithium can be used to treat various medical disorders such as depression and bipolar disorder, and is also used in peacemakers. When Albemarle closed its acquisition of Rockward Holdings in 2015, it became a lithium heavyweight. The company owns lithium brine operations in Clayton Valley, near Silver Peak in the United States, as well as in the Salar de Atacama in Chile. As mentioned, it also owns a 49% stake in the massive Hard Rock Green Bushes mine. In 2018, Albemarle announced that its request for an increase in its lithium quota had been approved by CARFO, a Chilean governmental organization. The company is now authorized to produce up to 145,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent per year in Chile until 2043. Albemarle later signed a deal to invest 1.15 billion USD in a joint venture with Mineral Resources, which will own and operate the Wagina Hard Rock Lithium Mine in Western Australia. In 2019, the company began construction at the Kermitan Lithium Hydroxide Processing Plant near Perth. Currently, the company's La Nagara 3 and 4 processing facilities in Chile are in the commercial qualification stage, while the Australian-based Kermitan Plant 1 achieved first production in July of 2022. The Kemerton 2 conversion plant remains on track for mechanical completion in the second half of 2022. When it comes to some of the biggest companies and corporations around the world, such as Exxon, Chevron, Saudi Basic Industries, Panasonic, Omnicore, Samsung, and so on, Albemarle is no stranger. Sales of bromine and brominated derivatives in Asia are expected to grow long-term due primarily to the underlying growth in consumer demand. 
and establish sales and marketing networks in China, Japan, Korea, Singapore, and products sourced from the United States, Europe, China, and the Middle East. The production of lithium and specialty chemicals is an industry that is ever-growing and not expected to die off anytime soon as more and more countries sign off on renewable sustainable energy. By 2030, many countries plan to only produce electric vehicles and the need for lithium batteries is only going to get bigger. Today, Albemarle is worth $32 billion according to market cap valuation. Anyway, if you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure to check out all my other videos. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.